Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, aka Pulling Teeth, and welcome back to PTW. We're on the Go Home Show to PTW Lights Out coming up this coming Sunday. But tonight we have a pretty stacked card because we still have some number one contenders to decide. And speaking of starting with getting number one contenders, the first match this evening is to determine the number one contenders for the Trios Championship. And here, coming the way to the ring, is a new faction formed here in PTW. Of PTW Originals, the Bone Baron, the Red Devil, and Adrian Rodan. And they're going to be taking on another team that recently formed, but they are PTW Originals. They've made their names elsewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, the team of Pete Dunn, Brian Danielson, and William Regal. These three men are also aligned with the number one contender for the World's Championship, Tajiri. And Tajiri has earned the right, well, thanks to William Regal, have earned the right to choose the stipulation for his World Championship match going against Martial Law this Sunday at PTW Lights Out. And he has told me what that match is. Oh, God, we're starting out straight away with an Owen driver from Road down to Regal. He'll cut me off there. He didn't want me to make this announcement. Regal dropping Rodan on the back of his head. But the announcement for the World Championship match, it has been decided. Tajiri stated he wants an MMA-style contest against martial law. The two men are going to be locked in a dodecagon cage, and it's going to be five five-minute rounds Knockout and submission only for the win. Martial Law and Tajiri World Championship this Sunday. But before we get there, ladies and gentlemen, we have to determine the number one contender for the Trios Championship right now. Brian Danielson and the Red Devil in the ring too. And the most technically sound competitors here in PTW. Danielson with an airplane spin. And there we go, Red Devil tags in the Bone Baron. Bone Baron, a crafty individual. Drop kick sends Brian out of the ring onto his head. And Red Devil meets him there. Brian throws Red Devil into the barricade and gets caught in another sit out tombstone, another Owen driver. Both Red Devil and Adrian Rodan use that move to fruition on a regular basis. Danielson is known to have a bad neck, so that's not good. The double team in the hell out of him. Red Devil's got a hammer now as well. And again, that elevated flatliner, Pete Dunn and Regal have seen enough. But the Bell Baron catches Regal coming in. Just power drove him onto a chair. And Regal is bleeding. And bleeding badly from the looks of it. Caught oh, into Gary drops him. Done. Dunn's locked him in an hard bar. Both the men now. Everybody back into the ring. Dyson and the Bone Baron are legal. Regal is bleeding already and bleeding profusely. Roundhouse kick from Danielson. He tags in Dunn. Smart move not to tag in Regal. Another minute. Regal needs some time to recover. Knee bar there to Danielson. Drop toe hold to Dunn. So Dunn's off the ropes. No, I think it's Red Devil and Dunn that are legal. Red Devil sends Dunn off the ropes. Spinning slap. That's a bit of. Oh god. That was like a modified reverse tombstone. Dunn though, working the arm. First spinning back fist there as the Red Devil but missed. Oh, and he's got the arm strapped to like a straight jacket. That's the no word I was looking for. The word I was looking for. Here comes Regal, bloodied and battered already. Got a magic killer from Dunn and Regal. And Dunn going in there with a the, uh, bow and arrow there. Red Devil manages to escape it. Regal just walking him down. Tags into Rodan and another elevated flatliner. These two use that move to fruition and they use it really well. What's that a capo kick? A capo kick to the back of Regal's head and into a chokehold. Regal, oh, snapping the fingers. Don't like that one. That's a signature move of Dunn's. He must have got it from somewhere. Sat up now. Rodan runs in, sliding drop kick to Regal's face. Regal straight up, double underhook into a suplex. Regal retreating back to his corner to tag in Dunn. <laughs> Regal just got dropped there, but so did Rodan. Done working on the knee. The winners of this will move on to this Sunday to challenge for the Trios Championships. Both these relatively new teams. Dragged out. 
Ladies and gentlemen, later this evening as well on this very broadcast, we have got two triple threat matches. Two triple threat matches that are going to go some way towards making a new number one contender for the world title after Martial Law and Tajiri's match. We have an idea here, folks. The idea is the winner of each of the two triple threat matches tonight will move on to take on the winner of a triple threat match that will be coming up this Sunday at PTW's Lights Out pay-per-view. The winners of those three triple threat matches will meet at next week's show in another triple threat match to determine the number one contender following Tajiri and Martial Law's World Championship contest. We'll see the competitors are going to be in there. Oh god, the small package driver, one, two. Comes right there to break it. Danielson now with the... Is that a dragon sleeper? Sort of a dragon sleeper. But Regal, Regal, power of the punch! That probably sounded horrible on the mic. Bone Baron's feeling it. Bone Baron doesn't take himself too seriously, but he's incredibly dangerous when he wants to be. Look at that, chops to the side of the head. Throw down to Rose, big boy sent on to Regal. Regal's a bloody mess, look at the blood on the map. Oh god, he went for a fireball, but Regal got out of the way of it. Nearly pushed the Bone Baron into it. Tags him to Dunn. Dunn now caught in a roll-up. But Regal and Danielson are there to stop that. Double suplex from Regal and Danielson while Dunn covers the Bone Baron. But Red Devil's there to break it. Hooked up into Geary from Dunn. Big drop into the back of the head. Dunn's up. Caught. Stunner! The stunner from the Bone Baron, Dunsett flying back into the corner, Bone Baron covers him, he's in the ropes. Danielson getting the crowd into this, oh Dunn just got kicked in his little Dunns, his little Peters, his little bruiser weights. Tags into Danielson there. Dunn, arm traps, arm bar there to the Bone Baron, Danielson's picking his spot, waiting. He goes into a shoot headbutt. He goes up top. Another one. Diving headbutt this time. Dyson cover. One. Two. Regal. Oh, so close. Meet your maker. Red Devil's got a meet your maker on Dunn. Dyson is able to break it. They weren't the legal men, but that would come a lot of damage very quickly. Dyson escapes Bell Baron there. Dyson is going over to the corner, but he's been caught by the Red Devil. He's holding him in place, Dyson gets free from it, but Bone Baron manages to capitalise, but gets caught on the knee. Dyson tags back into Dunn. Bone Baron tags into the Red Devil. Here we go, oh god, pile driver onto the chair! That's what he busted Regal open with. That could have caused some serious damage to Danielson's neck. Rolling knee by the Dunn, knee by the Dunn, but he's in the ropes. Both these teams have a hell of a lot of momentum at the minute. Who's going to get the better of this exchange? Whose momentum is going to be halted tonight? Elevated flatliner again, this time to Regal. That's a take again to Regal, he's hit a few times. Red Devil went for a really diving headbutt there. Shouts out to Danielson, but he missed. He goes low down. He goes Regal. Knee bar. Big uppercut and a forearm. The exchange is now back and forth to go. Well, Red Devil flopped in with the maker on Don. Super kick to Regal. Manages to escape that. Retreat back to his corner. Caught. Oh god. Oh, in driver. That's it. That's all she wrote. Center of the ring. No, Danielson just in time to break it. Wait, Regal, cover. Two. Oh, kick out from Rodan. Resourceful there from Regal. Here we go. Regal sitting Rodan up top. Follows him up. Oh my god, an exploder from the top. And screams in his face. Danielson with a running knee. Cover, one, two, kick out. Oh god, magic killer from Dunham, Regal. High low, total elimination. Regal, Regal Plex! Drops the rope down on the back of his head. He wasn't legal, Danielson is. There's enough following him in, and there's that total elimination again. And small package driver. And then Red Devil falls over the submission. And Danielson had to quit. Danielson just tapped out. The Red Devil just tapped out. Brian Danielson. 
arguably the best technical wrestler in the world, just got submitted by an up-and-comer. That was impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one contenders for the trios championships, Adrian, Rodan, Red Devil and the Bone Baron. Very interesting. That was that's somewhat of an upset. You've got to admit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have one of the triple threat matches that I mentioned earlier. Going some way as to proving who is going to be next in line for the world championship. The following contest is going to involve CM Punk taking on Jeff Hardy, taking on Seth Rollins. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss that one Wait, right where you are. That's coming up next. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first of your two triple threat matches this evening to go some ways to determine the next number one contender. It's something of a tournament, I guess. I guess it's something of a tournament. We could class it as such. But all three men in the ring already, CM Punk, Jeff Hardy, Seth Rollins, who moves on to next week for the number one contendership match. We'll find out Falcon's arrow from Seth. Seth's on a bit of a roll recently, beating John Moxley. CM Punk already hit in a GTS. CM Punk came this close to getting the number one contendership before he was stopped by Tajiri. Jeff Hardy's got this shot. Something surprisingly, to be honest he's not had much in the way of success here in BTW but he has been exclusively a tag team wrestler so maybe this is what he needs maybe Jeff needs to step into the singles division and see if that works out for him my god double him Ziguri dropping Jeff and knee to the back of the head from Punk snapmare roll through drop kick to the face you know, Jeff twist of fate to Rollins oh and Punk just jabbed him in the face and Jeff was firing back with forms of his own Snap suplex. There's no shortage of history between CM Punk and Jeff Hardy. It's very well documented. Uh, Seth Rollins, somewhat of the odd man out here. Standing moves off from Seth. Although Seth's got a bit of history with both these men as well. More so with Punk and Hardy. Go behind. Jeff just kicks the back of the knee. Curb stomp. But he's straight up. It's Seth Rollins with a sit out powerbomb. The knee drops to Jeff. Punch to the face and Punk firing those kicks. Back and forth, they go! Punk gets the better of the exchange. Rollins sends Punk off the ropes. All three men colliding. Scooping a slam. Big front drop kick. Seth's going up top. Goes for the Phoenix splash, but Punk blocked Jeff in the Emicon device, so <laughs> Rollins missed. Octopus hold there from Punk. STF from Rollins. They're both working on Jeff. They're desperately trying to get Jeff to tap. Punk thrown to the corner. Off the ropes. Nope. Went for a roll up. Didn't manage to land it. Atomic drop from Jeff. Super kick from Rollins. Here we go. Super kick again from Rollins. This time to Punk. Ball with that mule kick. Kick to the ribs. Punk with the knee bar. All three of these men somewhat similar in style, but all have very different tweaks to it. Jeff's more of a daredevil. Punk more technical. Rollins more of a straight up high flyer. Punk is really going for the Anaconda device. He really thinks that that's going to be his ticket to victory here. All three men down in the centre of the ring there. Punk strike combinations and kicks. Takes down Hardy. Double team. No Punk fights out of it. Rolls and put a Jeff over. Even, ugh, easy for me to say. I'm stumbling on all of my words. Suplex there for Punk. Goes for an easy. Rollins zones him. Oh, GTS. GTS to Hardy. But Rollins is right there. But caught into a swinging net. Broke the Punk off the ropes. Sees Jeff coming. Smart though from Punk. Even though if he did get caught. A top drop. Jeff. Sets Punk up top. Falls him up there. Jeff with the Hurricane Rana off the top rope. Elevated Frankensteiner. Jeff flips out of the corner. Go behind schoolboy. Rollins is right there to stop it. Rollins now arm trapped. A forearm across the eyes. Escapes. Hurricane Rana from Hardy. And a chop to the chest drops him and Seth's just going crazy. Oh, and Jeff just kicks Seth in the balls. Twist of fame. Wait, Rollins. Stacks up Jeff. 2.9. That was so close. With the air, GTS. Oh, both Punk and Hardy had similar things in mind. Oh, strikes there from Punk. Swinging net 
Breaker once again. And there's that atomic drop from Jeff. Stands poked back up. The ropes they go. Hurricane Rana from Rollins. Goes for a cover. But Jeff's just standing there. Oh, he had faith that Punk was going to kick out, even though it was very close. Or up to the face. Drop kick attempt. Doesn't land it. And Taguri attempt. Doesn't land it. There's a mule kick. That lands. And a front drop kick. All three men are down. Rollins back to his feet first. Jeff follows after. Oh, Punk again. So close. Twist of fate from Jeff. And a jawbreaker. Drives Punk out to the centre of the ring. Oh, oh swinging that breaker again to Rollins. Top of strike. Strike for strike. Strike contest here. Punk. Big roundhouse drops Jeff. And more kick combinations. Dropping Rollins. Slams him down the Urinagi. Into the, into the Anaconda Vice once again. Is Jeff going to be able to escape it? He does. Just. Rollins. Falcon's arrow. He did the deal. Nobody kicks out of it. Except Jeff Hardy right now. 2.9 Hurricane Runner. Just to fate again to Punk. Rollins is up top. Twisting frog splash doesn't land. Whisper in the wind. Jeff with the whisper in the wind. Jeff heads back up. Swanton attempt. But Rollins pulls Punk out of the way. Watch when that submission once again. Jeff attempted to break it, but then rolling around on the floor. Falcon's arrow once again. Hardy sent with the ring. Gets caught in the back of the head. Punk more strikes. Got both men down now, but now they're back up. Strike combinations again to Rollins. Punk thrown to the corner by Hardy. Hardy calls him up and caught. GTS to Jeff. And now an ounce goes hold to Rollins. Oh, but he escapes it. There's that <laughs> elevated leg drop to the groin. Wait, double team STO sweet leg combination. Punk's feeling it. Wait, Seth, Seth, pedigree. Two attempt doesn't land it. Four strike combinations. Got him up in the air. Goes for the GTS. Rollins rolls through. One, two, three. Seth Rollins sneaking out the back door with that one. Punk went for the GTS while Hardy was down. Seth rolled through with it and caught Punk sleeping. Got him with a roll of the schoolboy combination. Seth Rollins on a roll at the moment. Beating John Moxley recently and now beating or well, pinning CM Punk. He has pinned two of the best in the world in recent weeks here in his last two matches. That is impressive any way you look at it. But folks, coming up next, we have to move pretty swiftly on. Coming up next, we need to determine a number one contender for the Women's Tag Team Championships. We don't have one currently. Somewhat shockingly, we do not have women's tag team number one contenders, so we need to fix that. So coming up next, two surprise teams are going to be going at it to determine who will take on B Priestley and Liv Morgan at the pay-per-view at Lights Out for the Women's Tag Team Championship. Stay right where you are, that number one contendership match is coming up next. And here we go, everybody. Number one contendership for the Women's Tag Team Championships coming up next here. We've got two teams who are teamed together for the first time ever, trying to put themselves in the running for these tag team titles. And the first team, a surprise mix of Mortal Kombat's own Molina and the WWE's own Naomi. These are going to be an interesting team together and going to be pretty, pretty unique. I'm not quite sure how they came together. It might have just been pulling names out of a hat, to be honest, backstage. Since these championships came about, the women's division here have been like, we need to start putting together some teams. But they are going to be going up against the former PTW Women's Singles Champion, Paige, and one of the best women's competitors of all time in Lita. These two coming together to try and form a team here to see if they can go forward to take the championships. Paige wants to be the first person here in PTW to have held two different titles. Can she do it? This is the first step towards it. Fall away, slam straight away to the Naomi. Naomi thrown back into the corner. Knee to the ribs from Paige. Sits her up, super kick to the kneeling Naomi. Snap there though. And then from Naomi throws Paige back into the corner, tags into Molina. I have just realised this is a match between four competitors who only have one name. 
none of them got surnames. Interesting. Anyway, scoop and a slam there from Molina. Molina hooks up and gets the page right in the ribs. And he goes an elevated crab, Lion Tamer style. Shouts out Chris Jericho. Off the ropes, running dropkick attack. Molina sidesteps it, but Paige caught her there. Paige was one of the most dominant champions in PTW. She was absolutely exceptional during her run. Double super kick. During her run as women's champion, she was brutal as hell. Those headbutts, we haven't seen her since losing the title, but she is back here tonight, stepping into the women's tag division. Seeing her, seeing how she does, laying her hat in there. And throwing her name into the hat, throwing her hat into the ring. What's the expression? There's multiple. You know what I mean. Club to the back there from Naomi, a stomp to the spine. Hooked up, leg caught, dragon screw. Very nice. Clothesline attempt doesn't land it. Swing net breaker. And a leg drop. Naomi tagged into Molina. Multiple forearms to the jaw. That was halfway between chin and jaw. Round to the corner, but later in the round. But a tail. Nice takeover there from Molina. And Molina. Shoot headbutts to Lita. Shouts out of Paige. That's something that Paige made famous here in PTW. The multiple headbutts. Maybe she's calling her out. And Lita's going to oblige. Here comes Paige. Double power bomb there and caught her into a, into a chin lock. Just trying to slow the pace down. Paige and Molina now squaring off. Forearm drops Paige to the mat. And then drags her out. And now she's going for the headbutts. And I think Paige is bleeding. Yep, she is. Paige is busted open from those headbutts. Back and forth, these two go. Paige gets the better of that exchange. Now Paige comes back to it, does some of her own. These two are going to knock each other out, this is Concussion City. Tags into Naomi. Probably a smart move. Paige is busted though from those headbutts from Molina. Oh, and Molina goes low. I'm not sure it would have the same desired effect. But it's going to be painful nonetheless. Does that attempt doesn't land it. And here we go, back and forth strike combination. Forearm for overhead punches. Naomi gets the better of that exchange, dropping Lita to the mat. Look at the blood on the mat from Paige. She's in a bad way. Lita being dragged down out towards the center, stood up. Naomi, oh, suplex landed it. I thought Lita had reversed that, but no, dragon screw there once again. Dragging Lita further out, stomp to the ribs. Jawbreaker from Lita. Nice, into an insiguri, leg feet style. Jawbreaker once again, go behind. Elbow to the face, sidewalk slam from Naomi just to slow the pace down just a little. We go tags for tags. Paige and Melina back legal again. Elbow went down there, now Paige stalking Melina. This is sort of becoming personal, Alabama slam. Alabama slam coming from somebody nowhere near Alabama. Nice, that was a very nice transition there from Melina. Showing her mat expertise there. Out wrestling Paige. Can Paige out fight Molina? Burn to the corner. Yup, Paige counters it. Brainbuster! <laughs> Straight shoot drop Brainbuster. A mounted headbutts of her own. That's what these two are going to keep trying to do. And more headbutts from Paige. Tags into Lita. Lita goes up top. Big boy sent on. Nope. Fall away slam. Lita was thinking about doing something from the top, but she decided against it. She goes for that chin lock. Naomi having to rush over. This thought it might be over. Sidewalk slam again from Naomi. Naomi showing more of a powerhouse style here. Oh God, mounted forearms. Paige is there to break it very quickly. And the mounted headbutts. So I mean, Paige is brutal with those, but Molina has been doing them as well. As I believe busted Paige open. Paige has been bleeding for a while here. Naomi running shot into the corner, dropping Lita down. Naomi's up top. Diving elbow to the spine. Sends her up. Punch the back of the head. Lita's back up to her feet. Gets out of the way of the kick. Tags into Paige. Both kick down. Paige back to her feet. Caught again. Naomi's on fire right now. She's caught. Throw into the corner. Paige. <laughs> Does shoot headbutts in the corner. Drags her back out. Another falling head, but this time to the spine. Paige really likes using her head. 
I mean, it's been effective for her. Running elbow to the back, and Paige just no sold that straight up. Mountain headbutts to Naomi. And more headbutts. Paige is determined to knock Naomi clean out. And another. Off the ropes, big boy sent on. Naomi running for the hills to tag in Molina. Paige tags in Lita. Lita for to the floor. Follow a slam. Paige headbutts once again. Molina caught with Lita running in. Another punch to the face, dropping Lita down. Stands her up. Go behind Lita with a mule kick to escape. Snap suplex. Lita goes up top. Moonsault maybe. Moonsault! One, two, but Naomi's there to stop it. He gets caught with more headbutts for her troubles. Paige throwing him, stacking him up. Lita up top. Another moonsault! One, two. Naomi again breaks it. And this time caught Paige coming in. Diving elbow drop, mounted headbutts. Mayor escapes. Take down once again. Mayor tagging in Naomi. Lita's in trouble. Just getting worked on center ring. DDT spike style from Lita. Cover. One, two. Again, Molina's out of break it. God, everybody's in the ring now. Naomi. Vertical suplex to Lita. Got her, but no. Back and forth they go. Oh, strike for strike, connecting every time. Big drop kick from Lita. She's retreating to tagging Page. She makes it. Double both kicked away. Here's Melina again. Double power bomb, dropping Page. Page is bleeding everywhere, and now Melina's got a foot. Did you get that from? Just trying to open that wound even more. Page up top. This is not a good idea, but knee drop. I did not think that would be a good idea for Paige, but it worked. So once again, another knee drop to the ribs. Paige now struggling to recover. She's just about back to her feet, but all picks the ankle. Oh, Paige rolls through it. He's got a choke hold in. Where did that come from? Naomi just managed to break that up. She tried multiple times, and Paige kept rolling to evade it. There we go, that double power bomb again. Both teams have used this. Diving head for Molina. Oh no, it was a splash. Page retreats, tags in Lita. Double team attempt. Nope, Naomi manages to escape. Nope, elevated face buster. X Factor style. Scooping a slam from Naomi who goes up top. Just waiting for Lita to get back to her feet. Diving crossbody from Naomi. Straight away to break it there with Page. Wait. Rampage! Rampage to Molina. Moonsault to Naomi. Two. Oh, 2.9. I thought that was it. I thought that was all she wrote. It should have been. Moonsault again to the back this time. Stacks her up. Two. Molina's there to break it. Caught with the forearm. Diving knee drop. Leaders up top. Moonsault again. Three of them this time to Naomi. Naomi's back up. Tries to tag in Molina. Lita, power bomb. Oh, but roll through. Lita tags back into Paige. Hits Molina there. What the hell is Lita doing? Oh, diving cross body attempt, but Molina managed to avoid it by locking Lita into an R bar. That was impressive avoidance. Impressive avoidance? I'm not even sure if that's a word. Evasion is the word I'm looking for. Ram, but Paige, Ram Paige! That's it. All she wrote, one, two. Now oh, again another kick out. What's it gonna take for any of these women to stay down? That was a very weird noise there, Melina. Off the ropes, kitchen sink. Through the head. Up oh, another rampage. Another rampage. Cover. One, two, three. Finally got it. Page pins Melina. Page and Lita move on to the pay-per-view to be <laughs> to challenge for the women's tag team championships live morgan and b priestley better be watching that one's going to be hard hitting my god that one's going to be brutal i'm looking forward that could be a show stealer that has the potential to be a show stealer but folks coming up next we have the second triple threat contest what we mentioned at the start of the show 
in our somewhat number one contenders tournament, shall we say. Number one contenders trio tournament. Well, it's not... Kind of. You know what I mean. But coming up next, the three competitors are going to be Adam Cole versus Hangman Adam Page versus Adam Edge Copeland. We've got three Adams all going at it in the next contest, folks. Stay right where you are for that one. Here we go, folks. Your second triple threat contest. Winner will move on to join Seth Rollins and the winner of a third triple threat match at this coming pay-per-view. They will be going on then to next week to take on, well, to face each other to see who are going to be number one contender for the World Championship following the Tajiri and Marshall Law match at the pay-per-view. Adam Cole's got Adam Page locked in a bow and arrow there. We're going to have to just not say Adam, it's just going to have to be Cole, Hangman and Edge. Oh, dead eye from the Hangman! Cole, go behind, back suplex. He's mad that Hangman went for the dead eye already. We haven't seen Hangman for a while here in PTW. He was a big player in some of the early tournaments. Double super kick. Oh god, chopped down there. And we haven't seen Adam Cole for a while. We haven't seen any of these three for a while. Ushi Garushi from Adam Cole and a low blow. Cole running things right now. The smallest man in the match. He's really not acting like it. He's running the entire game. Turns up Edge. Edge though. Edge the veteran here. He's going to be the one to watch. Bicycle kick attempt, but a low blow. And a headbutt from the hangman. Insecurity low from Edge. Chop to the chest, punch to the face. Hurricane Rana. The ropes they go. This is going to fast pace this contest. Big clothesline. <laughs> got to watch out for hangman. He's got brutal clotheslines. Airway crash. Hangman's got some of the best clotheslines in the business at the minute. This drop there. Edge, snap suplex. Edge, one of the craftiest competitors maybe ever in the industry. Cole, incredibly versatile. All three of these men have got plenty of things that they could use to win this match. They've got loads of weapons in the, all of their arsenals. That sounded wrong. Bangman drop now the ropes that go, another low blow, Cole is really just working those low blows tonight, Kamigui, dropped by a drop kick though, and <laughs> got caught in a cross face, Hangman took full advantage of that situation, wait, edge, execution, you see that big boot there, stopped Hangman from hitting a rolling lariat, super kicks from Cole, it's hard to keep up with all of this, back suplex in the corner, Hangman dragging Cole out. He's got his legs caught and he's got him in a figure four and Edge is just watching. Snap suplex again from Edge. And just a chop to a Hangman there. Super kick to Hangman from Cole. The War of the Adams. It's the Adams family. <laughs> I'm sorry. If these three were a trio stable, that's what they'd be called. Shoe headbutt. Oh, Twirly Brain Buster, I thought he was going to go for a snap suplex, but no, Cole. Wait, where did Edge get that chair from? Edge just diving with the chair. Electric chair drops, speaking of chairs. Electric chair face buster. There's a big clothesline again from the hangman, and Edge is up top. Cole's in a bad position. Kick down. Hangman drags him out. And they take in heel kick attempt, doesn't land it. Cole, Panama Sunrise. The Panama Sunrise out of nowhere. Cover. One. Two! No, just a two count. Off the ropes they go. Oh god, just multiple strikes to everybody here. And execution! Back up to the feet they go. And we're dropping edge there. Goes for a pin. One. Just a one count. Cole knew that wasn't going to be it. Didn't even attempt to break it up. Snap suplex from Cole, but caught! Caught now! Indian, well, it's not an Indian death lock. What am I talking about? It's a Texas Clover Leaf. Hangman throwing forearms like it's nobody's business off the ropes. He goes running clothesline. Edge caught him with, with the cutter. Top the go. Nope. Dragon screw. Cole once again going up top. Once again, Edge stopping him from hitting whatever he wanted to hit. German suplex just dropped Cole high on his neck. Edge knows about neck problems. 
Up top they are. Hangman. Hangman with a hurricane round top. Frankenstein of style. Up Scorpion death drop. From Cole. Shouts out the brothers in pain. Power pump stacks him up high. But he was far too close to those ropes. Cole with a Panama sunrise. Here we go back and forth. Can they go with these strikes? Cole. Super kick dropping. He's dropping the hangman. He's so lost in all these atoms. <laughs> Cole just threw Edge into Hangman. And there's another execution, but Hangman's up. Hangman running with a flipping senton. Cole was going for the Panama Sunrise. He's got Cole the Discus Lariat. And another Lariat. Hangman's going mad with these clotheslines. He's dropping everybody. Edge, though, takes him out of the knee. Cole says no. Oh, but a splash connects to Hangman. Oh, dead eye. And another one. Hackman's dropping them high. Cover. But Cole's showing off. Oh, Edge kicks out of that bicycle kick. They'll caught him. And a super kick. Cole's starting to build momentum. Cover. One, two, 2.9. And the hangman just kicks out. German super dropping Edge on his head. One person, you don't want to do that. Two forearms and a lariat into that clover leaf again. Cole's far too close to those ropes. Edge just got jabbed in the face. Big Lariat again dropping Edge. Oh, Cole's hung upside down. That was brutal. Hangman now is caught. Low blow. So many low blows in this match. Brain Buster from Edge. Dropping Cole. All these men are just trying to destroy each other's necks. Super kick. Caught him. Cover. One. Two. Another kick out for Edge. Just. No, wait. Wait, Cachetto from Cole and Edge. Hangman though's got him up. Gut buster. Cole with an elbow drop. Oh God, don't know what Cole, how Cole there. Cole though from Edge again. Sits him up. Another chair over the head. Edge pulling those chairs out of nowhere. Scorpion death drop. Oh, caught. Schoolboy, one, two. Oh, and Cole's there to break it just. That could have been it. Another roll up. One. Two, three. Edge, the crafty veteran, just rolled up Hangman Adam Page. And he got the victory and Cole is shocked. Cole doesn't know what to think. He had this in the bag. He didn't think Hangman was going to get pinned by that. I didn't think Hangman was going to get pinned by that. But here we are. Edge with the victory. Edge and Seth Rollins... And the two competitors moving on. But there is going to be another man in that number one contendership match. We will find out who that's going to be at PTW Lights Out in a special freeway contest. That will be opening Lights Out, folks. It's going to be the first match. I won't reveal who's going to be in it just yet. You'll have to wait and see. But tonight, we still have one more match. And what would it be a go-home show if not for a big tag team contest to end things between champions and challengers. So, ladies and gentlemen, not including the world title, not including the women's title, but the tag team championship and the hardcore championship, then main eventing tonight, Mankind and Raven will be teaming with Rancid Adam to take on the Golden Lovers, Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi, and their tag team partner tonight, Eddie Kingston. That is your main event. That is your go-home match for the pay-per-view, folks. Stay right where you are. It's coming up next. It's main event time, ladies and gentlemen. And it is champions versus challengers. Tag team champions and the hardcore champion taking on their number one contenders, respectively, in a trios match. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the people who will be challenging for the titles at the pay-per-view, the team of Kota Ibushi and Kenny Omega, the Golden Lovers, and their tag team partner for one night only, Eddie Kingston. These men all earned shots at their championship some time ago now. They've been waiting patiently for this opportunity. And ladies and gentlemen, the champions, the PTW champions, the tag team champions walking out to the ring first, Mankind and Raven, they're joined by the PTW Hardcore Champion Rancid Adam, a PTW original. The most successful PTW originals thus far. 
Will the champions be able to keep the momentum on their side heading into lights out? Or will the challengers be able to pick up a huge, much needed win here? And here we go, we're starting things off with Kota Ibushi and Ramsey Adam. Never thought I'd see this. And hooked up an Inzaguri from Adam. Adam rocking somewhat of a different look tonight than we used to. The hair's growing a little bit. The ropes, he goes, goes for that headbutt attempt, doesn't land it. Here comes Omega. Kenny. Kenny and Koa, but they're not able to stand up here to Rancid Adam. Oh, but a super kick from Kenny turns the momentum and a kick to the spine. Adam True retreating over to tagging Mankind. Mankind and Kenny Omega, something I never thought I would see, but here we are. Oh God, Hadja Hadja May! Shouts out to Taz and Hook, who will be in action at PTW Lights Out. Taz and Hook will be teaming together to take on the tag team of Danhausen and the Big Bear. And here we're getting the first look of Eddie Kingston. The snapmare dropping Mankind to the center and kick to the spine from Omega. Tagging to Raven now, we're getting the first look of Raven. Raven and Eddie Kingston, That's a, that sounds like a money match to me. You gotta think that maybe if Kingston is able to win the Hardcore Championship, maybe Raven might be able to step into that division. Raven, our mankind, to be honest, could step into that Hardcore division anytime they wanted. And they could be forces in that division, but currently they're focused on keeping the tag team titles. But oh, they're feeling out Kingston here. Oh god, those knees to the back of Kingston's head. And the push to the face of Raven. Snap by once again from Kingston. Trying to drive him out towards the center and Kingston working the knee. And a chop. Oh, belly to belly there from Raven. Drops Kingston down. So not pull back into a lariat. Turns him up again. Off the ropes. Oh, Kingston recovered and rolled out of the way. And here comes Omega and Adam. Double suplex from Kenny Omega and Eddie Kingston. Round Adam wanting no, no part of Kingston, interestingly. But he'll face off against Kenny Omega who's called the best bout machine. And a drop kick to the back of the head there from Adam. Hooks up Kenny, drags him out, drops him down. And a cutter, a jumping cutter from Adam and Kenny Omega just no souls it, super kick. Adam might be going for the Adam bomb. No he isn't. He goes for a diving knee instead and those knees are exposed, no knee pads. Oh, went for that running head but and Omega gets out of the way. Adam keeps trying to land that, he doesn't manage it. Oh, discus larian from Omega. Abushi's legal, Bushi with the Hurricane Rana. Dragging Adam out. Stands it back to his feet. Go behind. Oh, and Bushi gets kicked in his little coaters. And here comes Mankind. Adam, Circus Destroyer. And a clothesline from Foley. Sits up, drunk to the back of the head again. Foley using that to his advantage, but no. Kota manages to turn the tables. Tags into Kingston. Wait, Golden Trigger. Boom! Golden Trigger just dropped him. The Golden Trigger with Kingston instead of Omega. That was interesting. The big Lariat from Kingston. Stands up Foley. Very hooked up, but caught into a scoop slam. Here comes Raven. Go for Foley, throws him off the road. Big back body drop. Raven follows up from it, but Kingston manages to escape. Kingston's caught. Kingston's caught. Back suplex STO combination. Oh, but Kingston comes out swinging with a lariat. Stands him up. Goes for a back fist. Doesn't land it. But he hits those charts. Back fist of the future. Elephant name that he calls it. Nice a cloverleaf there. Oh, God, you can hear Adam shouting from here. I think Foley just went low. Oh, those mounted headbutts. We've seen those used a fair few times tonight. And headbutts from Adam to Kingston trying to take full advantage of Kingston while he's down, weaken him for this coming Sunday. Omega. What was Omega thinking? But nothing. Omega's thinking nothing because Foley stopped him. Raven. Oh, Raven was doing those jabs, but <laughs> Omega kind of saved him. Don't Adam thrown to the outside. Oh, Kingston's grabbed a chair. Adam's grabbed a light tube. Adam just swinging with that light tube to Omega. He is the hardcore champion living up to that. Super kick drops Kenny. He's got that chair that Kingston brought in. Just blows a mist in the air instead. 
Got caught with the snap suplex. Both men retreat to opposite sides of the ring and bring in the partners. Wait, Golden Trigger to Foley. Golden Trigger. Boom, right on the Foley's nose. Go behind, no, don't land it. Circus Destroyer. Foley's up top. Diving elbow to Kota. But Kota's up before Foley is. You see the age and experience factor coming in there. Much younger is Kota. Up, up two, throw into the corner. Oh, Mandible Claw! The Mandible Claw, but I think Kota was full close to those ropes. Oh, Foley just ramming his head to the corner. Back super dropping out on the top of his head. Insiguri drops Foley, clothesline drops Kingston. This has got melee here. Foley thrown to the floor. Oh, big straight right from Kota. The <laughs> one from Adam, a quick one. Bob, Bar Bar Barbie's here, circus destroyer. But he doesn't, he decides not to use the barbed wire bat, instead he goes from the top and drop. Omega legal, I think Adam's legal as well. Kota's got a single leg crab, but doesn't manage to keep it locked in. Oh god, Adam just clocked over the back of the head. Adam's taken a lot of those sort of moves though, so I think he can withstand it. Forearm for forearm. Omega got the better of that. Omega's still got that damn chair. No super kick from Omega. Stands him up again. And a chair shot to Adam. Sends him up again for another time. And one to the ribs. Kenny. Bang. What's he thinking? Up top. Diving foot stomp to the spine. Tags into Kingston. Forearm to the face. Kingston chopping. Chopping down Adam. Brutally. Omega. Double stomp attempt. Doesn't manage to land it this time. Kingston's focused. Swinging the chair over the chest. Stands him up, swings again, but Adam manages to escape and tags in Raven. Shoe head, but drop Kingston now. Raven go behind, caught, now into a cutter. Adam can pull that out of nowhere and a backstabber. But Kingston is fighting, squaring off with Raven here. Punches for chops, Kingston. Big rolling forearm. Stands up Raven. With that chair in hand, swinging a miss. Honestly, most of the people. Oh, even flow! Even flow DDT from Raven. I was going to say, most of the people in this match are very averse to using weapons. Two, three! Raven just pinned Kingston. The champions keep the momentum going forward. The even flow DDT dropped Kingston. And a pin done. So, the one of the tag team champions pinned the number one contender for the Hardcore Championship. Interesting to see if that's going to play a factor into this Sunday show. So before we go this evening, ladies and gentlemen, let me run down the card for you for this coming pay-per-view for PTW Lights Out. The main event of PTW Lights Out, Tajiri takes on Martial Law in an MMA contest for the World Championship. Eddie Kingston, who we've just seen, will be challenging Rancid Adam for the Hardcore Championship. The Golden Lovers taking on Raven and Mankind for the tag team titles. Taz and Hook will be taking on Big Bear and Danhausen. El Xavier and Johnny Gargano too for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Rosemary will be challenging the Batgirl for the Women's Championship. We also learned our tag team, women's tag team number one contenders early tonight, Paige and later will be challenging Liv Morgan and B Priestley. We saw our trios championship number one contenders crowned earlier tonight where Rodan, Devil and Bone Baron will be challenging for the trios titles and we have a special junior heavyweight eight man elimination match scheduled for the pay-per-view as well where the winner of that will get a junior heavyweight championship, uh, championship match in the future and we have the final freeway contest to determine who will move on to the number one contendership match the following week to take on Edge and CM not CM Punk, it was Seth Rollins who won that match Punk got pinned, take on Edge and Rollins for, to, to, to see who will be number one contender for the world title following Tajiri and Martial Law, that was all very easy for me to say and a lot to say very quickly but thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one, it's been a genuine pleasure as per usual, like, comment, subscribe you know the drill, all the fun stuff and I'll see you at Lights Out bye